This video is going to be much more about the Model B Plus Pibo than the B Plus itself, but I'll just give you a quick run through of the changes so you can see exactly why a new case is required. First and foremost, they've added four USB ports, which pretty much blows your chances of fitting this in any existing case from the get-go. If you add to that the much longer GPIO header, which has got 14 additional pins, which are on this side. The um, other portion of the header is basically identical to the current Pi header, so add-on boards will be compatible. Um, HDMI port has moved slightly. The power has been moved round from the end to the same side as the HDMI. The video and audio have been turned into a combined jack and moved to the other side. So you can basically see that only two edges of the new Pi actually have ports on. Versus on the original Pi, where it just pulls everywhere, it's completely mad. But anyway, let's get a look at this case. Now you see the um, new packaging from Pimeroni is um, designed both to fold flat for shipping, so when it's like this, it's in sort of shipping mode, it folds flat, fits nicely into a jiffy bag, isn't too thick, isn't too bulky. Um, but they've done a neat little trick with this. If I cut this label down here, you'll see that when they want to stock it on the shelf, the case folds in half and can be secured with a completely different sticker for this purpose and you hang it on the shelf and you've got a nice little retail package there as well shipping package, retail package possibly the world's first transforming packaging, who knows, but it's cool All right, to open it up, you fold it in half and you'll see if this join along the middle here pull those tabs out and all the parts will just slide right out there quite easily. Now the fixing should be inside some of the layers. Got a pretty standard affair. Got your nylon bolts and little laser cut tool for screwing them in. And this is the new uh, Pibo Ninja case. So what's happened here is the, um, the acrylic has changed slightly from the original. I don't have an original for comparison. But I know the colours change from uh, what might have been a muddy brown to a much more sort of smoky grey. Much more befitting the name Ninja, I think. So we've got the bottom layer. For the purpose of this video, I'm not going to bother peeling off. In fact, sorry, this is the, yeah, this is the bottom layer. For the purpose of the video, I'm not going to bother peeling off the, um, the uh, backing on these sheets. I know it needs to be peeled off, but... It's going to take too much time, I can do it later. We've got our next layer. Presumably, I'm not actually reading the numbers on the layer, and I've not put one of these together before, so this could be exciting. In fact, you know what? I want to read the numbers. I want to say this is the first time I've put one of these cases together, and uh, it's the first time I've really got a, an in-depth look at one of them as well. And you'll notice that the um, micro SD card slot is actually slightly raised up from the ground, which is a really nice feature because on the older cases you had the SD card sort of flopping around underneath and if you drop your pie, it potentially break the slot off and that wouldn't be a lot of fun. Um, so I guess this is layer three. Uh, if you put together a pie bow, you'll either have done it by trial or error or you'll have noticed the little numbers in the corner there, you can just make it a three. And um, that'll tell you basically what order to put them on in. And the rest of it's pretty much just lining them up the only way they'll line up. Stacking them on one at a time. And I saw a lot of the design process for this new case and I know that an awful lot of thought and an awful lot of care has gone into um, getting rid of a lot of the, the sort of crazy routing that happened in the original Pibo. So you've got this lovely big open space now in here, which could potentially make it a lot easier to put the case together. So you can plonk half the layers straight down on top and come up with something like that. You've got this lovely big open space, absolutely perfect for fitting an add-on board inside, and which will hopefully rest on the edge of the HDMI port there now, as there's no big capacitor to, to stick a foot on. Let's get some bolts. At the point where they're usually lost. 
We're going to do this in hacker style with the screws on the top. So bolts push through from the bottom. Whoops! I just launched a bolt on my top. without the lid on that's reasonably well protected and it's surrounded on all sides ports are rooted out absolutely beautifully and there's a lot of time and effort putting into creating these things and a lot of trial and error as well it's um, a lot harder than it looks at the top layer there's a couple of camera slots that should line up if I manage to figure out which way up it goes and there we go HDMI bolt on the edge there and then the screws. Okay, let's let's just peel the backing off this top layer or it's gonna look silly. If you've ever wondered why the, the top of your Pibo isn't transparent, then this is generally why. This is always a fiddly bit. Also the bit where you end up with fingerprints all over the top of your nice new case as well. And finally the little tool, which can be used to tighten them up nicely. Now, you've got to admit that over the original Pibo, I'm not knocking the original Pibo, especially the Rainbow, it's an absolutely fantastic case and I was one of the first people to sort of jump on that bandwagon and get hold of one. It was um, a really nice piece of kit, but you've got to admit this is much more refined. I mean, it's a sign of a couple of years of sort of honing their trade. Pi itself has got a lot less going on in the middle. There's, there's no silly cap sticking up and there's no sort of video port there so there's a lot more room to get that nice big open space and I think that's what really makes this case look good then you can stick a pie glow or something like that inside to really finish it off yeah this is the um, Model B Plus Pibo Ninja and as you can see it's uh, available now and it's a really nice case really well protected SD card slot there as well I can't really fare much better than that